Argentina, a place with a lot to offer. The end of a long journey. Yeah. But for one group of people, it's a destination they believe they shouldn't be having to visit at all. Go that way. What's on offer here is a treatment for their children with cystic fibrosis. It's a cheap copy of Orcambi, a drug that the NHS in most of the UK considers not worth the price. But patients in Scotland today learnt that they'll be able to get it free on the NHS. Welcome, everybody. We've been following their story since May, when they formed a buyer's club. We filmed them striking a deal with Gaydor, the company that makes the copy. They're charging £24,000 per year, which the families are paying out of their own pocket. It's much less than the £104,000 some of them were paying for Orcambi. And today in Buenos Aires, they were finally able to pick up three months' supply of the drugs, as is allowed under current rules. Yeah. Michael Naylor from Belfast is here for his son. He's finally got the copies. It's a very emotional moment because um, we've been battling for this for many years to get these drugs uh, for my son. And now finally, after four years, I'm here and I can go home now and um, basically give him a chance of normal life. It's, it's just wonderful. It feels fantastic. I think it's appalling that they're in this position and they're having to fly out to Argentina to collect prescriptions. This is a drug that they should be able to have uh, on prescription here in the United Kingdom. But finally getting the copies of Orcambi today is poignant. If they lived in Scotland, the Argentinian trip may not have been necessary. Today, Holyrood announced that around 400 cystic fibrosis patients would have NHS access to Orcambi and another drug. I know there will be uh, cystic fibrosis patients and their families across the country today who are very relieved about this uh, and I know that everybody will welcome what is exceptionally good news. I think it's um, I'm delighted for the people of Scotland that they've managed to do a deal with Vertex um, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen for the rest of the UK and we've got to carry on this fight to get access for our children. So somehow we need access, whether it's with Vertex or whether it's a generic, it doesn't matter to us, but just we need access and we need it now. Today's announcement undoubtedly puts pressure on the NHS in other parts of the UK. England, for example, has been involved in a lengthy stalemate over the price of the drugs. There are around 10,000 people eligible for them here. But Holyrood has been criticised by MPs south of the border for political interference, seeing it as undermined the negotiating position of the NHS. And only last month, the Scottish drug pricing watchdog rejected the routine use of Orcambi, saying the drug wasn't cost effective. It's not just governments coming in for criticism. Oh, well, I think the drug company are behaving really badly. This is Vertex Pharmaceuticals. And they're behaving in a way that makes them not just outliers, but extreme outliers uh, compared to other drug companies that do negotiate effectively on price to make products available on the NHS. In a statement, the drug company Vertex told us it understood and shared patients' frustration and the urgency to resolve the access situation in England. It said it had reached agreements with 17 countries around the world and remained in talks with NHS England. The company added that the price of its medicines was based on the difference they bring to patients' lives and the significant cost of R&D investment. There are other options open to the NHS if they and Vertex fail to reach an agreement. The government could suspend or can be's patent, overturning the monopoly, or they could fund a large-scale clinical trial that uses a generic or copy version of Orcambi. NHS England told Newsnight that they are committed to exploring and developing other options. I think it matters that we have these price control mechanisms because if we didn't, if we went down the US route of not being allowed to negotiate on price, it's estimated that would add an extra 10 billion a year to the NHS drugs bill. And of course that's 10 billion that you're then not able to spend on other things. It's not clear how long this impasse will go on for. Meanwhile, will parents such as Rob and Michael keep on having to travel to Argentina? And when will a solution be found here at home?